Friday morning here in Norway, south part of Norway. Sun is coming up, and I'm out to get some coffee. I'm back to uh, just kind of documenting our situation in life. We're making some changes. So some of you may uh, know if you have seen my previous videos, uh, is that me and my girl we came from Chiang Mai in Thailand. We stayed there for six months. I came back to Norway, I came back to clean things out, simplify, get rid of a whole bunch of old crap, old energy basically, and uh, right now, here in January, we don't have a place to live. things that we have found uh, really interesting for a long time now is to get a tiny home we want to build a tiny home and have a kind of a private cozy countryside sanctuary we can fall back to when we're not traveling the second option is to maybe get some kind of a camper van that's getting really popular it's kind of exciting too I like this uh, it's not that I don't like to have my own place but right now, with so much stuff simplified and owning less, um, you know, uh, stuff and, and technology and except for the tools and equipment I use with my work, it's kind of interesting to see where this takes us. It's a total freedom. So I went to this place, local caravan, shopping. Center, I would almost call it. It's a local caravan center. I just wanted to have a look at different solutions for new cars, so I went into this one. It looks really cozy. It's kind of more crampy than I expected. Um, maybe because people are using a wide angle lens on YouTube, but I don't know. It's probably a smaller car too, but anyway, absolutely very cozy. I think some of these fully integrated big vans, camper vans, are a little bit too much for me, a little bit too much luxury. So I'd rather have one of these rebuilt Sprinter vans, kind of regular cars, rebuilt, yeah, as a camper van. They're nice and more flexible. day in an Airbnb living on the on the go in a way I'm gonna stay in this place for a few days um, then I'll go to Oslo in Norway in a few days because my sweetheart is coming back from United States visiting her family part of the plan was to continue to stay in Norway um, but we see that there's not much just to, to stay here for so um, we are kind of talking about just getting back to Thailand or maybe Vietnam or some other place instead. The town Sunday early day 
It's actually 11.30, but you can see how low the sun is. Yeah, part of the reasons that we um, don't want to stay in Norway because it's a comment or a question people have. Yes, Norway is a rich bitch country. It's peaceful and safe and all that, but it's fucking boring at times and fucking expensive and it's insane. And the kind of the mindset you find here in general, at least down south in Norway, it's not suitable for our own goals and mindset of life. And you know, it's actually getting more and more important to make sure that you mingle with like-minded people, people and places. It's damn important for your own well-being and progress in life. So if you, if you have goals in life, if you want to become something and you want to be happy, you probably want to follow a passion that you have and you haven't even spoken about to people. Then you have to start to hang out with uh, probably a new set of friends maybe move to a new place and you have to start to decide to consume new content that will draw you into that reality so that's the reason part of the reason that we are moving to save on cost for our lifestyle and to be with more interesting people that actually have goals in life and want to accomplish bigger things that's why that's why we do that. It's not happening here. Packing away the rest of my stuff today. Got this um, hard case for the iMac, so kind of a precious thing that I own for my all my work to be done. Yeah. Raising the Tobagos, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that case. Kind of an interesting time too. With my background and story probably most of you don't know about the childhood that, I, that we had as kids moving around like crazy with our mother we moved 32 times in total I think including living in a tent and living for free in a hotel once I can't even remember that kind of like yeah, I think it's like to feel now that you don't have a place to stay um, I expected things to be a little bit more scary, maybe. But actually, it's going pretty well. It's kind of a. It's, it's been a good feeling to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff and simplify. Because now I don't have too much stuff to maintain and take care of and hold on to and host and have space for. So, it's almost like we're laying out of a bag right now. Got the kind of the main uh, established bag with clothing and little, little things, and uh, I got my computer bag and I got my camera gear. So that's that's how we live all about our days now. You miss the old days, but nothing changed Less you change what's around you How you think, how you live, how you speak How you walk, how you blink How you talk, how you teach, how you reach Let it sink What's your purpose, what's your passion Do the pain, what's your plan Is it play, on a plane, how to play I'm just playing What's your purpose, what's your passion Do the pain, what's your plan is it play on a plan? How to play? I'm just playing. Uh, a beat by Joby, feel like Obi Wan Kenobi, cause I'm a star and they can't hold me like I'm Kobe in the fourth. Yeah, nothing is ever forced. We headed straight to the source. No middleman, little man. Let me show you if you was lost. It's a couple college.